Good morning, wakey wakey! It's time to get out from that place! We spent recent five days on that bloody rally. No bull, just beer and bikes. And it was exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, there was nothing more than beer and bikes. And yeah, place to pitch your tent. So, do I like this rally? Well, the people were fantastic, but the rally itself was rather rubbish. To be honest with you, I've got used to different sort of rallies, like those in bottom right corner. Yeah, those were rallies I grew up on. Same like here with camping, but also with some attractions like group rides and other things you might do during daytime. Same as here, however, you can also start the fire, burn your sausage or something, yeah, and have some other sort of fun. But generally speaking, there were attractions during daytime, and those attractions were for everyone. Some of those were pretty cool, but some were just, yeah, pretty dumb. But who cares? The main point is, you were not bored. There was always something to do. Was it always safe? Well, probably not. But hey, it was only our problem. But in the meantime, on No Bull, Just Beer and Bikes, there was nothing. Nothing. Completely nothing during the day. Yeah, 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 I understand. Health and safety and all that nonsense. Yes, that's right. On our rally, sometimes there were like accidents. But then again, no one was crying. Usually. <laughs> We were all grown-ups, right? But hey, yeah, sometimes the fuck-ups were pretty massive. But you know what? Still, if you exclude the most risky competitions, like that one, there was always something to do. And here... Well, not much, other than getting drunk. On the other hand, if you think about it from different perspective, you can just come into Wales for five days, ride around, have a cheap camping and on top of that have some bands playing in the evening. And a free party with some other bikers. That makes some sense. Ok guys, enough whinging, it's time to enjoy the day. And let's fill the tanks and off we go. Okay, I'm just kidding with that music. Let's start again. And yes, as you might have guessed, we are actually going to the Devil's Staircase. Because our friend Peter was never here. Can you imagine that? I can't, because I was already like seven times. Damn, I really love that place. Seriously. That place with the whole valley, it always delivers. But today we even got the brilliant weather, which is unusual. But hey! And look, wild chickens! I already said that I love that place. Just 25 degrees of steepness, but it, it really is steep, to be honest. Especially those corners. Absolutely amazing, but you know what? Peter's bike sounds better. Don't you agree? Now guys, we decided to go towards Tregeron to see the remote phone box. The famous phone box. And on that fork, if you would go left, you would go to Lindbrianne, lovely lake, amazing place as well. But the road right, I think you would all agree that it's absolutely brilliant. A short stop to check the navigation. 
And off we go again. And just look at that. Smashing, isn't it? <laughs> yep, I think that all the roads in this area are absolutely fantastic and smashing and empty with almost no cars whatsoever. And I seriously, seriously love that part of Wales. And look, we arrived, the most famous phone box, the remote phone box, and the post box, and the electricity post, or telephone post, whatever that is. Pięknie wyglądacie. I słup. Co chcę ci powiedzieć do mikrofonu? No, toście się popisali, no. Trzy słowa do ojca prowadzącego. Ale ładne miejsce. Well, indeed really nice, but actually it's time to go because we learned, or actually Peter learned, that he needs to go back to work today. Can you imagine that? this evening. What a nonsense, right? But hey, there is nothing we can do. We don't even have any time left to explore the area. We basically are going to trigger on, then reverse back, and then, yeah, we will just go home on each own. The fastest route back is going through Elan Valley. <laughs> That's right. So let's go there. Because you know what? Peter was never here either. And that mining area is the most awesome place in that valley. At least I think so. Sadly though, we don't even have time to make a stop here. I start to think what a twat in that car. But actually look! What a nice person, eh? It looks like the biggest twat here is me. <laughs> That's a pity. But jokes aside, what a brilliant road that is. Yeah, you can tell by the number of the bikers on it, right? And some people on really nice classic bikes. Like that Enfield Classic, really nice. But that Hi-Vis, well I simply don't understand how could you buy a, such a good looking bike and then ruin the look with your vest. Yeah, I, I, I know the safety idea, but well, the safety is overrated, right? Yeah, that's just marvelous, as would say one of my YouTube friends. Cheers, Paul, if you are watching that. But in the meantime, let's look back. Where have my friends gone? <laughs> let's just slow down a bit and let's wait for them then. I don't 
think I will ever get bored with that part of road. Hmm. I simply love it. Seriously. And now it's time for the last stop and last break. And time to say goodbye probably with Peter, because he's signaling we should stop now. And possibly he needs to check his phone for the last time, hoping that maybe he doesn't need to go back to work. So is he lucky with that? Hmm? Now, unfortunately, <laughs> that's the end of story for him. And from this place we are almost in Ryada, so after Ryada we will just split our ways. But me and Lucas, we decided to take a bit more complicated way back home. So yes, we will enjoy the roads. Hold on a second and look at that. See how many birds? This is impressive, really. And I think they all were like red kites, probably. If you know exactly, let me know in the comments. But never mind who's got bigger bird, because we are on a lovely road to Ludlow, and we are enjoying it. Every moment we thought it would be good to stop somewhere because we are right now in Ludlow and it would be great to find some food because we are hungry. Yeah, we thought that those bikers were eating something here, but no, unfortunately, the kitchen was not working. And weirdly, though, you would think that Ludlow is a brilliant place and you can find something to eat here. Nope. Nope. We ate like 20 miles later. But right now we are just enjoying the last view from those hills, which are brilliant. And then we will try to find the last stretch of interesting road. Because everything else later on will be boring. And we are hoping that this road, the small narrow B road, will be interesting. But it soon ended and it wasn't interesting at all. So that's it for today and goodbye. Oh, actually, you know what? Don't just wait for the next video for a week. Just watch one of those two on the right hand side, on your screen. They are older, but brilliant. Of course, if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching. Cheers!